Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm just applying some lotion really quick. It is another episode of Breaker's Talk, so I'm so excited because we're gonna draw some gems and we're gonna get motivated. We're gonna accomplish our goals. It's now February. I hope you guys are all accomplishing those goals that you set January 1st. If you wanna stay motivated and make sure that you accomplish all your goals, make sure you check my video. I'm gonna link it up somewhere here to where you check it out to make sure it's they're just little tips and tricks that I give to make sure that like those goals that you set, you're accomplishing them. So yeah, so I'm just gonna jump right in. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to stand out in a field that's oversaturated to say. That's what we're gonna talk about. For one, if you are a beginner, please don't get discouraged and be like, oh my gosh, there's so many, there's so many other people doing it. I shouldn't join this field. There's Fenty, there's Mac, so many makeup brands, I can't even list all of them. But that does not stop. Like when Fenty created, when Rihanna created Fenty, there were a bunch of other successful makeup brands, but she still created hers because she had a different look to it. And then she she still grew her business. I mean, she's Rihanna and everything, but still, there's still something that she brought to the table that was different from what was already there. And that's her shade range. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Don't ever get discouraged to be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna oversaturate feel. People are doing it. You're gonna bring a different perspective, a different vision, a different outlook to something that like, other people are not gonna see. They see it one way, that's good for their business. You're gonna bring a different perspective to it and that will make people gravitate towards your business as well. So number one thing that I'm gonna talk about is breaking stereotypes, especially as a braider. I feel like that's one thing that you can do to set yourself apart because when people come to you, they're gonna have a certain stereotype. But if you go against them, they're like, oh my gosh, she is different. They're gonna get intrigued about you and then that will get them to stay. So that's a good thing. So I'm a braider, African braider to say. I, I hate to be that person, but there are certain stereotypes among African braiders. They're always late, they're rude, they're this, they're that. There are certain, there are so many stereotypes. And I've had people even come to me and they're like, wow, you're so different. I'm like, thank you. Like I try, like I try, but like that's the whole goal. You want to go against stereotypes among people in that field to where it's like not so much different that like you're doing, I don't know how to explain it, but like it's certain little just in, in just like little details that would just separate you from other people to know that, okay, she's not the stereotypical braider. She's not just a braider that like will be rude. You tell her to come at 9 a.m. You're not getting your hair done until 2 p.m. Like all that, no. When you, when you set a time for 9 a.m. and they actually get their hair done by 9 a.m. Because I've had people literally like, they were like, oh yeah, I cleared my entire day because I wasn't sure if we're actually going to start on time. And then it's like, we finished. And like, we actually got done on time and they still had the rest of their day to go do something else. So like, you want to break stereotype and they're shocked and that led them to come back to me again, which is a good thing. However, had I followed the regular stereotypes of being late, being rude, all that stuff, I would lose customers. So that's, <laughs> that's something that you definitely want to avoid. If you look at me looking down, I'm just looking at my list. Next thing, again, it ties into the first thing I talked about, customer service. Your customer service needs to be like a thousand, like a thousand on like literally. You need to make sure your customer service is good. Your skills can be good, but if your customer service is not good, people will not come back. People will not come back at all. And it's just like, well, for me personally, I'll say this. I'd rather go to someone whose skill might not be all the way there, but they're working there and their customer service is great versus someone that their customer service is great, but they need me to like crap every time I go there. Make sure your customer service is great. I feel like it's also a thing where people complain a lot about, like I said, breaking stereotypes. People usually, when they're dealing with braiders or just service, they're always like, oh, they're so rude. There's always a negative story, but go against those stereotypes. Be the person that gives them tip-top customer service to where it's like, whenever they come to you, they feel welcome, they feel loved, and it's not just a matter of like, they just feel like crap, but it's like, I gotta get my hair done, so I guess I'll just tolerate the crap. But no, be nice to them and stuff like that. For me, a little touch that I add is, cause, like with my customer service, I have care cards I give to every, well, when I remember. I have these little care cards. It's just to make sure that like you maintain your hair when you're taking it down and all that stuff. Just how to maintain your hair is to make sure your protective style is actually protecting your hair. That's a little touch that I had. You could give them like a care card. I don't know what you want to do. Maybe a week, reach out to them. Maybe on Christmas, text them. Just go a little bit like above and beyond to make sure that like you're different from the regular breeder. And like the regular, whatever you are and you feel, just to make sure that you go above and beyond to make sure you're a little bit different. Another thing to make sure that you stand out is social media. 
social media is a business and so <laughs> social media is not easy but you can use social media to make sure that like your work is different i don't know the name of the braid off my top of my head but i'm gonna look i'm gonna tag her picture somewhere here to where like when i see her picture i don't even need to know i don't even need to check the name i just know okay she posted that that's one thing that you want to do and I'm, that's something i'm in the process of doing as well building my pictures to where like when people see my pictures they don't even need to see my name they just know okay me the hair did that and that's it it could be a slight little touch that you just add maybe the certain lighting maybe a certain picture in the background to where like they see that picture and they just know okay she did that i'm gonna like because i know her i love her work and stuff like that so that's definitely something you want to do to where it's like people just see your work they know your work they love it so yeah also another thing to make sure you stand out again breaking stereotypes it's okay to say you don't know how to do a hairstyle anyway that's it for me this is a quick and short video but i just wanted to throw out these tips so to go over it again one break stereotypes well actually one don't be discouraged first of all to get into the field because you feel like it's oversaturated you're going to bring your own different special talent to it so don't ever get discouraged to go into a field that might be oversaturated quote unquote number two break stereotypes go against the regular norm if your people are doing that like go above and beyond to where it's like you don't fall into the specific stereotype like i said with lateness I take time very seriously. You don't want to fall into that category to where it's like you tell them to show up at 9 a.m. and you're not starting their hair until like 12 p.m. Don't do that. Go against those stereotypes. Number two, customer service. That is something that like will set you apart. Like I said, I feel like personally, I feel this way and I feel like other people feel this way as well too. I've talked to people and like they'll rather go to someone who's like up and coming and like she's trying and she's doing her best or he, she, whatever, like that is doing their best and their customer service is the best rather than someone that's like a beast in their field but every time you go to them it's like it's just their customer service is not good so that's something that you definitely want to avoid make sure your customer service is top notch that's a great thing that can set you apart from everybody else in your field and lastly like i said use social media to differentiate yourself from everybody else make sure that when you take your picture even if it's like a certain way you take a picture a certain way you braid make sure that like every picture it literally is like targeted to where like people see it and they know it's you that's something like they don't even have to look at the name they just look at the picture and go yeah that's her so yeah that's all for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was quick and simple but yeah i hope it helped you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe down below and check out my other episodes of braider talk to help you out and make sure that you comment down below what you guys would like me to talk about. I have some ideas, but I would love some feedback. I thank you so much for all the comments, especially on my first episode of Braiders Talk. I see a lot of braids relating to me and I'm like, yes, I don't feel this way alone. Like, and I'm glad that it's helping people. So yeah, comment down below what you'd like me to record. And that's it for me. I hope you have a great day. Bye.